Yo, how's it going on guys? Today, we have received some huge news and some information for Pokemon Journeys, being new titles and summaries for episode 91 and 92. This includes the debut of Alistair, a gym leader from the Gala region, as well as confirmation that Ash's Gengar will be getting Gigantamax. Before the video starts, all of this information comes from the trusted website known as Cerebi. If you're excited for all of it, be sure to ice punch the like button down below. Let's get into it. First up, episode 91 title is called The Ghost Train Departs and the summary goes as follows. Ash and Go have gone to Winden City Station to catch a train to stay on Side City in the Gala region. But when they board a train while running after a masked boy, that has dropped his ticket. Ash touches a mysterious stone that is left behind in a reserved seat, which turns him into a mean Ash. As they move through the cars in search of the masked boy, they discover a lot of Drifloon. Go is cautious, but Ash sets the Drifloon loose on Go and explodes in laughter when he sees him run away in fear. Go gets frustrated at how Ash calls him a coward and is acting uncharacteristically mean in general, but is also starting to feel suspicious. However, just then the masked boy appears before them, but immediately afterwards the train is shaken by impact. It turns out that spirit tomb that had been sealed inside the keystone Ash touched has awoken and is going on a rampage angrily demanding the return of the ill-natured spirit that has entered Ash. Will the group be able to return the ill-natured spirit to spirit tomb without any trouble arising, thus returning Ash to normal? Lots of ghost type Pokemon are gathered in the train, not just Drifloon but also Shed Ninja, Sinus T, Spirit Tomb and more, and Ash's Gengar will appear as well. Right off the bat, just from reading this summary, I'm very delighted to see that Alistar will be making his debut in the anime. When it comes to the Gala gym leaders, we haven't really seen much of them, however, including the ghosty boy Alistar is definitely a great choice. So it seems like the gang will be taking a trip to Stoneside City, however it looks like Alistar drops his ticket and the duo rush after him to return it. Nevertheless, Ash touches the mysterious stone which is most likely the odd stone which is used to summon spirit tomb, which has turned Ash into mean Ash. I'm very interested to see how this goes, as the last time Ash got possessed was an advanced generation by the king of Poke Atlantis. This made him to be mean and rude to all of his friends, but also his Pokemon. In what looks like Go will be the main target for Ash for the episode, and I'm sure he will be very shocked. Even so, it looks like Ash, Go, and Alistar will all have to work together to return the Oddstone back to Spirit Tomb, who is enriched, and also return Ashy Boy back to his normal self. It's definitely going to be one to watch, and I'm really looking forward to it. Last thing to note for this episode is that we're going to be seeing a lot of different ghost type Pokemon, which is very nice to see, as this type definitely deserves more love and screen time, so it's a perfect episode for it. The biggest information for today's video comes within episode 92. Gengar does its best, the road to Gigantamax, and the summary reads as follows. Ash and Go visit the ghost gym in Stoneside City in order to make Gengar Gigantamax, and believe it or not, they find the masked boy they met on the ghost train, who turns out to be Alistair, a boy who serves as the gym leader of the ghost gym, despite his young age. After going to the Stoneside Stadium, Ash and the others attempt to Gigantamax, however, Gengar remains Dynamaxed. When Alistair sees this, he tells Ash that while Gengar can Dynamax, it won't be able to Gigantamax no matter how hard it tries. However, afterwards, Alistair tells Ash and the others that Gengar will be able to Gigantamax if it drinks Max Soup, made from Max Mushrooms. They decide to go search for Max Mushrooms in a forest, where lots of ghost type Pokemon live. Alistair warns them that Max Mushrooms aren't easy to pick but Ash is full of drive and says he'll definitely get some. Alistair takes him to a cemetery in the forest where they immediately find Max Mushrooms, but a Galarian Corsola, a Pokemon that is said to curse you if you kick it, is hiding nearby looking just like a rock. Ash attempts to get the Max Mushrooms while holding onto Gengar, but... Okay guys, yes, Gigantamax Gengar is officially confirmed and I'm so thrilled and happy for our cheeky boy. This has been teased and hinted to us from quite a while back with all the Pokemon merchandise and image scans that have been constantly showing up, but finally, there's no need to speculate as our boy is actually Gen. The main focus for episode 92 will be the gang trying to help Gengar achieve Gigantamax by making Max Soup, which is definitely going to be hard, however with the help of Alistair and Go, I'm sure they will be able to succeed. 
Gengar being able to use Gigantamax is a big step in the right direction. Sadly, he hasn't had the best run in the Pokemon World Championships, but it looks like he's finally getting redemption, starting from this episode. And you never know, Ash's next Hyperclass opponent could be teased at the end of episode 92, but of course, we'll just have to wait and see. Are you excited about these episodes, Ash's Gengar getting Gigantamax and also Alistair's debut? If so, let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below as I'd love to hear and speak to you all there. Please be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Pokemon Journeys content. Episode 91 will be airing on December the 17th and episode 92 will air on December the 24th. It's been your boy Aurazora and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe.